लव सो होप यू हैव वॉच द लास्ट सेशन विच वी हैव अबाउट रिटेनिंग वॉल लोकेशन टू मार्क दैम ऑन योर सरफेस I have same drawing, and we have a surface here. You can see for uh, proper working, I will off my surface. Select surface tile to no display and press OK. Now you can see. uh we have all sea walls in our drawing according to uh, our points label if you can't see them and they are mixing with each other then you can decrease your point and decrease your scale now uh, you can see we have one sea wall here which is uh, here to finish and this line i don't know uh, how it is going but uh, as we have concept about sea wall so i think it is our edge of uh, sea so in this area uh, there was not need uh, the sea wall that's why uh, they leave this and another wall has been uh, marked here so here we have two walls and when we go uh, forward you can see another wall here and uh, it is the edge of a c then you will go with uh, edge of c now you can see here we have some points as a tree so when we was surveying in the field we take a points we take some points uh, down side of the tree to now that they are our tree inside our uh, area of survey so we mention like coco 350 and 350 it can be like millimeters so when we when we have points so we can change uh, a points into tree for example here we have point and we go to the properties and now here you can see we have point level styles in point level style we can show everything about our points uh which i have already described about that and uh, style when you will go to the style it will give you many style here which you can use for according to your standard according to your point criteria like and we have a uh, benchmark benchmark use for any surveying uh, points uh, and uh, here you can see catch basin if we are going to show catch basin we have any catch basin in our surveying area uh, then we can select this one and it will show the symbol of catch basin here we have many more points like iron pin uh, a single pole storm sewer manhole test pit and tree which we are going to uh, show now so uh, uh i need to move that uh, a little bit here you will see here we have a selected point here which will convert into tree when i will select you can see here it has been changing into tree when you will uh, press escape to move back you can see here we have a uh, tree so this tree i uh, i think it has been uh, placed with uh, any symbol or any 
ready-made uh, symbol of this tree because if we mark some tree in civil 3d it will show something like date and we can uh, make it's already point when i will select that it will give me a uh, some uh, appropriate command in contextual tab once i will go into the properties i can select uh, x y scale for this tree z scale for this tree and if i want to change the location of this tree according to my site if i have some mistakes then i can change here from for easting northing and then point elevations hope you like this feature of civil 3d uh, i will come back press control z to get back your point because i don't need here uh, a tree because uh, it is our description with g i don't know what about that but it's, it can be g for ground so it was our tree and uh, it's marked with cocoa we can understand about that you can see here uh, a tamarind it's our another tree and this one is a sap so uh, here we have some trees and uh, we can mark them if we have any hydrant any uh, sewer pipe single pole everything we can uh, show them in our drawing with the ex uh, symbol of them so when we go ahead you can see here we have uh, some another structure but i uh, i am not getting what is this it's uh, the label of or with uh, here we have description of this these points like or i don't know what they about or because there's not a uh, sea wall actually if there was sea wall here you will see the label of points with sea wall so we will leave them as it is and we will move forward so here we have not any another wall we have just uh, one this uh, one and uh, another one we have here one two and three we have just total three walls in our drawing and we will uh, design these wall and then uh, we will draw grading for them in the next step we need to know about the uh, feature lines as we have polylines and if we select these polyline then we right click and go to the properties then here in the properties you can see here we have elevation which is now zero zero because our line is our polyline is not have any elevation but it have x y uh, location according to points so the feature line is same our polyline but it's have just elevation special elevation for example i have a simple line here and i want to give him some elevation and i want to draw some feature lines so before grading we must need to convert our some lines or we need to draw some lines with feature lines then we can add them into any surface to get better grading for our surfaces so here we have feature lines and we have some options when you will put down that it will show create feature lines if you will click here 
the create feature dialog box will open and here you can see here for the site it is asking for site site is a separate uh, section and separate detail which uh, I think uh, you don't need to know about that for now um, but uh, if you are working uh, with grading then you have some um, surfaces like existing surface finishing and walls so you can make new uh, create new site here and you can make two to three sites and can put any new surface in another site then they will not interpolate between uh, each other actually so if you will put them in a site then they will disturb you they will uh, maybe you get wrong and you found some mistakes there so here we have style also I mean you will check the box here we have name when you will check the box for the name you can put any name for your feature line for example here we have uh, for the retaining wall front and back you can write for the feature line as front and back and for a style here you can see we have many uh, style for the feature lines uh, um, we can choose any one according to our uh, specification according to our design which will be required later so layer you don't need to put anything you don't need to play with these layer how to get several 3d with select appropriate layer for you when you will click ok so it will ask for you that uh, you can select one point and second point then you must need to collaborate with this uh, down command line to create your feature lines but for now I'm going to use another options in feature line which is create feature line from object for example you have a polyline already in your drawing and you want to create feature line with this line you can uh, you if you have many lines then you can also select all of them at a time to convert them in the feature line but if you want to man manipulate with different uh, elevations of feature line on each corner of feature lines then you must need to select them one by one and you can convert them into civil 3d feature line which have some elevation but if you have done with all of line at once then you have also options to edit them one by one uh, later we will see how can we edit them so if you have some alignment then you can also convert uh, and create a feature line from alignment you can also con create feature line from corridor which we use usually in road work and you can also create feature line from stepped offset uh, maybe you don't know about stepped offset but later we can uh, explain them so for now uh, I will go forward with create feature line from object once, once you will click on that it will show that select lines and or polylines are 3d polyline to convert to feature line so it is asking for to select any object for example I will select this line and then it will ask for elevation for now I will select this line as an example for example I select this it will get little green so you can know that it is selected now and uh, then you need to press enter and the same create feature line dialog box has been appeared to you that you need to select any side here or uh, for example I can create new and I write here see ball site 
you don't need to um, disrupt these all settings for now just leave them at it at it is and uh, select ok name for this feature line I will put anything for example 1 to ABC right everything you can select and style anything I can select from here so here uh, it is asking use current layer no uh, I will go with this option because several 3d uh, prefer this layer for me to make this feature line and at the down of these two these three options conversion options the first one it is existing in D uh, we need to select them here because when we convert our polyline into feature line or line to feature line then we don't need any line or polyline later so it will finish our existing entity entity mean our line our polyline our circle and everything like that so uh, if we want to give the elevation for the line then it will uh, we will select this one assign elevation yes we will assign uh, any specific specific elevation to our line so the weak point you don't need to select the weak point it's not important in the feature line and for now it's you just forget it and press ok for example here we have uh, selected from surface that if we want to select the elevation of this line from our surface in our drawing for example we have um, a surface here existing surface so once we will go with this option and click ok it will take the elevations from our surface if this line located on our surface if this line is not located on our surface then it will not uh, get any elevation from our surface but if we are on our surface or we are out of our surface area and we need to give any elevation to our line our uh, our feature line then we will select elevations here and here we can put any elevation like uh, in our drawing we are going like 279.2 or 279.5 like this so we will press ok and you can see it's change the color and when you will hover your cursor here it will also tell you that it is our feature line so if uh, any simple line you select you will not uh, see any changes in your screen but once you have feature line and once you will select them you will see a uh, many commands here related to feature line to edit elevation to insert elevation delete elevations and make some offset with them and uh, many more command which you can use for your feature line so it is our feature lines and if we uh, have elevation already with that but if we have some uh, mistake with this line then we can go to elevation editor and here you can see uh, we have a station of 100 and a station of 134.35 on 00 station we have elevation 279.5 and 279 point at the end of the line so you must need to understand about the elevation if you will put some different elevation like uh, 279 uh, sorry 278.4 then you will see here the grade now here we have 0.819 grade 
with our line end it has been changed uh, with our line at the start of this point here we have 279 now at 279.5 now but here we have 278.4 for now so it was just the concept of feature line that how can we manipulate with these feature lines because it is very important to go with uh, uh, retaining walls sea walls and especially when we will draw grading so it's now our next step to convert our poly lines into feature lines so let's do it for now i will delete this line it was just temporary to explain you something for now uh, i will convert this this c wall lines into feature line so how can i now the elevation uh, of c wall that uh, which elevation i need to choose for my c wall i will see my points here you can see here we have elevation 30.09 30 and uh, here you can also see uh, it is 32 the maximum elevation is now 32 you also need to check every point which is connecting to your c wall location or which you have been surveying surveyed your area so for now we have uh, 32 maximum elevation uh, is 32 32 and uh, here we have 29 and 29 so we have maximum elevation is 32.14 for this surface here which we have surface we must need to draw our retaining wall 1 or 2 meters or if you have a um, standard of and uh, specification for your uh, design then you can go accordingly but for now and as an example i will just uh, give the elevation just 2 meters above from the uh, existing surface for now we have 32 here you can see 32.1 but i will go with 34 to make a wall high then it can uh, retain something inside of the sea so press escape now it is our poly line that's why it's selecting all at once but if you have just your line not poly line then you must need to join all of your lines into a poly line then it will find for you to create feature line from your poly line go to the feature line create feature line from object and then it will ask you to select uh, any object in your drawing for example i will select this line and uh, it's our c wall now and press enter i want to stay in same site like c wall if i want to create any new for this line then i can create here so for name i can say uh c wall number 2 because this is number 2 and uh, at the start of this uh surface we have another one wall so we will give them wall number 1 so uh, when i have put the name the name of c wall <coughs> now we have style we can select any uh, style here for example you can find any uh, style 
which will find for you for now uh, i think i need to stay with this one and here i want to erase existing entity yes i want if i don't want then i will not check this option and uh, assign elevation yes i need to assign the elevation if i click ok with this surface option or if you have in this select from the drawing you can select from the drawing if you have any surface or elevation then this feature line will get the elevation from your selected entity but i will not go with that i want to give the elevation of line uh, which was uh, 32 was maximum but i want to go with 34 and i will put 34 and then press ok now you can see our sea wall has been uh, a polyline has been converted into our feature line so in this view top view we are now in working with top view you can't see your wall is two meter high but if you want to see the uh, play with some 3d options to see again and again our grading our surfaces to play with them uh, nicely and uh, for that uh, i for example i want to see that uh, where is my this feature line on our existing surface i will go to the surface and that i have this surface surface properties and uh, i will open i will show my surface which was no display before for example this is our surface i want to select this surface and then i also need to select this line which is our retaining wall feature lines select and then you will see here in the left side object viewer click on object viewer okay so once you will go into the object viewer it will show you something about your uh, surface so still it's showing just to the but once you will move your uh, mouse it will go to the 3d uh, you can see here we have shaded but for now if i want to change to realistic or any other options uh, with mm, nice uh, view i can see here when once you will play with your surface you can see how it is going up and down from everywhere here we have many up and downs and now i if i want to see my surface uh, retaining wall then i can see here that it is my retaining wall and uh, it is now two meter above wall above from our surface so uh, it's fine for now that our line our retaining wall will be two meter high from our existing surface but uh, it can be changed according to your design specification according to your standards so you can put your information of design into your uh, drafting to get better design as i have not any uh, design criteria for now but i am just clearing the concept of seawall 
that how can we draw and how can we get cut and fills and grading letters so once the wall has been done press escape to go back and then also select your surface and again no display because it will not work for me so we have another c wall here if i can see here we have c wall this one also we have c wall and this is also c wall so it's mean this will match each other For now, I want to delete this line because it's not our C wall, I think, which is uh, uh, disturbing us. For now, I will delete this line, and now I can see clearly my C walls. I also want to connect these this C wall we have also here So you must need to check every point to get better qualities. If you will ignore any point then you will not get. For example here we have stairs. Stairs uh, should be on our retaining wall. As I can see it will go through like this. So this C ball will be inside of C and then another C ball will be the back of uh and this one which be little bit down from the front wall so now i'm going to convert this polyline into feature line but first i need to make join for this line now it's joint and we have uh, our wall if I see here we have something uh, misunderstanding I think and we have not any wall here which is stopping just here so I can type TR double enter and tr double enter and i need to delete this line now i can match c 
somewhere you will see some hang up with your computer so you must need to wait for them 